Welcome back in the kitchen again with Chef Ricardo cooking show. It's amazing to be in the kitchen giving your favorite recipes and ideas. Anyway, today I'm going to show you how to cook your red wine lamb today. Um, basically, I remember I told you before I um, already marinated. Here it is. You know what I mean? It's soaked it, ready. All the thing I need to do is to fry it off and show you how to do it at home. All right? So we're going to go into business. Stay right there. Don't go anywhere. Watch this video. It's a new recipe, new ideas from Chef Ricardo. You guys will love this one. All right? Nice and lovely, guys. So basically, this is the lamb meat right here, which are uh, marinated 24 hours ago. All right, guys? So basically, oh my God, this smells really lovely and nice. Mm -mm. This is fantastic, guys. This smells so lovely. So I'm just removing the flim flim because I didn't have it in my fridge. And as I said, I marinate this 24 hours ago. As you can see, looking fresh, nice, and lovely. Look at this. That's the lamb. All right? So I got a medium sized pan on the stove. You can use a bigger one if you like because it's not a lot of lamb, it's just only four pieces. So what I'm going to do. Um, basically, I'm going to simple pop roughly a, roughly about a teaspoon of oil inside of a frying pan like this. Not too much oil. Alright guys. So, that's the oil. Alright, you don't need, to be honest, it doesn't need to put anything else in this. Because, remember, the lamb, when I was marinating the lamb, I put a lot of garlic. And a lot of season and it says so really really ready just all the thing you need to do is just to cook it unless you want to add a few more cover for garlic if you like but to be honest i didn't even need to put nothing else on it because the lamb already have a lot of season in it so what i'm gonna do is simple pan fry off the lamb and then i will show you exactly what next to do all right so this is a lamb look at that lovely and nice I'm gonna fry them off like this on both sides. So we're gonna do two two pieces one time. This is some fresh rosemary I use on it. But I'm gonna take off some of the rosemary and a little bit too much. Alright. We got two pieces of lamb. Start to fry it off. Lovely and nice. Nice one. So, but basically the lamb, once you, you brown from both sides and get that perfect color. Once you get that perfect color with the lamb, you just want to just take it out and put it right here. And I will show you exactly what next what we're going to do. Alright, it's going to be an amazing recipe guys. I know you guys are going to love this one. Nice one. So once the lamb get that nice lovely color on the outside like that, you see that color? Lovely and nice. So we're going to just take them out, just like this, alright, some of the garlic, some of these season, just going to simple get rid of some of these season out, then we're going to get the next two pieces of lamb, it's only four pieces guys, and we're just going to brown them off like this, get that nice lovely color of the lamb, really nice. One, so let's turn over this one. Yeah, it's lovely and nice. That's what I want to get. Got two nice lovely color. That's a lot. Nice one. So basically, the lamb is brown enough and looking lovely. So. Nice one. Give it a couple more minutes. Nice and lovely, guys. So basically, this is it now. Let's take out this one and this one. And all of these things. Eh? You don't want to use this part of the season. Alright, guys. So this is a little bit burnt. So what we're going to do is get rid of those burnt bits. Thank you. 
Alright? Gonna put them back in like this. Like this. Like this. Like this. The rest of this garlic and season. Gonna sprinkle this on top of it. What you're gonna do is to get the red wine, roughly half about a quarter bottle of red wine right here, and I'll pour this in. Alright, that is roughly a quarter bottle of red wine. And then I'll just put that in it. Alright, guys, so what you wanna do, taste it. Taste it to see. If you're driving, just be careful. Turn on the stove a little bit. Cook it on a medium size heat. You don't want to too cook it too fast. Alright, guys? So, I'm just gonna put a little bit of Cajun season. Give me some secret recipe right here. And a teaspoon of ground sugar. Beautiful and nice. So what we're gonna do is cover it, allow that to cook for about 20 minutes on a medium size heat. Till the sauce reduce cooked down really lovely and nice all right guys nice and lovely guys so basically to be honest this is a lamb right here all right and this is the way the lamb look so reducing to the sauce let's see something all right so that's the gravy of the lamb so when you're making the lamb, once you put in the red wine, that's it. You just love it, make it cook down until it turns into gravy. All right, let's taste it. That tastes really nice. Just start take off some red onion. And then I'll just put this inside of it like this. And then we're gonna just give it a lovely mix. Like this, all right guys? So basically, this, let me see this light. This will be finishing now because I don't need to put, do nothing else to it. I'm just gonna leave the red onion for the red onion to just go and marinate, go and soak through it. All right, guys, so look at that. Nice and lovely. This can be turned off now. Yep. So we're gonna shear it out. As I said, this will take about 20 minutes to cook down on a medium size heat. And it's lovely and nice. So hopefully guys will love the recipe and I'm gonna shear it out now, all right? With some mashed potato. Nice and lovely guys. This is a lamb right here with some mashed potato and green bean. So this is a red wine lamb. It's an amazing recipe. And hopefully guys will just like it. There's a video I'm gonna put in the description box how to make your mashed potato. Thank you so much for watching and this is Chef Ricardo Cooking Show. We've got a lot more recipes, a lot more ideas will be coming for you and I will see you next time. Bye bye.